All right, we're checking out Rook's Keep demo for it. It's up on Steam. Since it is my first time playing the game, we will be checking out the tutorial. Uh, so hopefully it gives us a decent feel for the game. Uh, I have some reservations going in given that the game very specifically mentions on several fronts that it features decapitations. I'm okay with decapitations, but when you need to tout that as a feature, uh, makes me wonder what other content you're missing. And good god, this looks mediocre. Alright, so welcome to Rook's Key. This tutorial will guide you through the basics of combat. So, right, let's look around with the mouse. Simply move the mouse around to get accustomed to the camera. Okay. Let's get ill. Alright. Uh, Wasty. Oh, uh, his walk cycle is so awkward. I don't know, I've never worn armor. Maybe your feet jawn out like that, but... Just doesn't seem quite right. Could they make the beacons any larger? Congratulations, you managed to walk. Now let's try some dodging. Let's get a good look at his helmet here. Eh. Dodge, press spacebar. Oh. That's not a dodge, that's a jump. Combat consists of various attacks and defensive maneuvers. Uh, well first, we shall practice attacks. Let's start with a quick attack. Attack, kill the target with repeated quick attacks. From a quick attack, mouse one. Oh dear, what a mess. This game could do for some sort of small radical to f figure out where you're centered in relation to your enemy. Heavy attacks on mouse three. That's awkward. Oh, and there's the decapitations they promised. Also the camera jumping back to this position kind of obnoxious. Okay, mouse 2 is blocked, that's why. Enemy will now spawn. Pair of 3 pa attacks to succeed. Where you at? I heard you spawning. I gotta do it manually. Okay, you gotta time it right as he's pulling it out of his ass. Paris series, you gain a slight attack speed boost, keep this in mind. Okay. Now let's practice blocking. Hold your left shift key to block. Block is more effective against quick attacks, as heavy attacks can still cause slight damage. That's what I'm talking about. Door number one, door number two, or door number three? Door number three. Yeah, you blocked his attack. While blocking, your movement speed is also reduced. But I could do this. Now let's attack an enemy and see how they defend. Guessing door number three, since it keeps snapping the camera. When the enemy spawns, simply attack them. Take note of the highlighted weapon color of the enemy. I'm seeing green. Green highlight is parry, blue is blocking. Ah, okay. Are there different ways around each? Let's move on and take a quick look at the rage. Rage represented on the HUD by the yellow bar. Need rage for dodging and special abilities. Rage replenishes slowly, but you can gain it quickly from attacking and defending successfully. Fair enough. So then simply dodge you times and watch your, your rage bar. Attack an enemy and watch rage regenerate. Oop. And onward. Let's take a look at your special ability. We 
each character has sort of special ability and they vary greatly. Let's practice this now on another target. You character the Paladin, Knight, as the charge ability. You can dash into an opponent range. Alright, oops. Hi. Okay, I was a little too far away. Bloody stakes down to recharge and cost large amount of rage. Go figure. One last aspect skills. Hold up, bring up skills menu with B and look over it. We got them. They cost experience points, which you earn from harming enemies. Go over all the skills, learn what they do and what they cost. Meh. Okay, so most of these aren't like. Yeah, I was I was just worried that uh, they would, the, all of these would add extra buttons to the keyboard. And that does not seem to be the case. Am I supposed to buy some? Ooh, vampirism, nice. Does it auto automatically save? Oh, follow the beacons. Well, we beefed ourselves up regardless. And again, this guy walks really funny. Follow the test to apply what you've learned and kill the bot five times. Fair enough. Final challenge begins now. We had to tell you twice because you weren't paying attention. Decapitation. Oh! She spawns right up my butt. Where's the next one? Really, a power in two heavies does the job if you can time it right. My god, what a massacre. Massacre, I don't know how to say that. That concludes the tutorial. We go forth to the rooks keep and wreak havoc. It's not as bad as I thought, despite the funny walk. It's playable. Let's see what the demo covers. Not that much. So you get extra maps, extra modes. If you buy the full version. Alright, let's try a skirmish. We got two battlegrounds. We'll check out both, I guess. And you just keep going until bots kill you? Also, do I get to choose a character at some point? Oh, there we go. Let's try the gladiator. Oh, you can't parry that. Oh. Squeeze. Oh. Well, that went well. 
Can I change characters? This just seems completely impractical. You'd think he'd have a projectile or something. Oh, he does. Okay. Yeah, the mage is just completely useless. Let's try... We did the paladin. Let's try the footman. I don't have high hopes. Oh, these were the guys we were murdering uh, mercilessly earlier. Alright, uh, so basically gladiators are OP, and I thought there was going to be more to this game than just arena based death matches. Um, there's plenty of these games out there already. If you're into them, you might want to check this out. I think there's supposed to be a chess mode or something in the full version. That's nice. <laughs>